what makes Mont Blanc very unique is just all of the different experiences you can get through it. We put a lot of attention in making Vondel very distinctive. People can very easily orient themselves, no matter where they are, they're going to have this very distinctive signature to each area of the map. There is the castle, we have the yeah. zoo, yeah. we have the stadiums, the train station is beautiful. So there's many, many POIs. Like, you can just jump in and do a bit of tourism before you start hunting down your enemies, or you can just start right away into the action. So we came up with this narrative where a unknown, you know, military force is attacking some key areas in the city. Right off the bat, when the player comes in, win the infill, you see that conflict. On the top of the university, there is this big open space. It's kind of a bit slow going down from this thing. The designer was thinking as a joke, oh, I could just put a ramp, like yeah. in action movies, can just jump off the roof, it's gonna be funny. And then the artists were like, let's go, yeah, let's do that. And they did. It kind of answers the gameplay questions of how can we get off the roof quickly. This is yeah. the way that both level art and design yeah. just decide together. Just making something the players would enjoy, would love. To push further the gameplay side and making sure that each match can feel different, we have something that we call the Dynamic Fox system. It's basically like a weather system inside the own match. So maybe you will start a match and it will be really foggy. You will not see that far away. And going through the match, the sky will clear and you will get more visibility. It changes everything. Those fights get so much more challenging because you can like step back in and out of the fog. And I think people's gonna love it. One of the biggest things that was brought into Warzone 2 is the water gameplay. And we want to make sure that we use that in our map because it's fun. So all the street routes and the canals. We built it so that the player can move quickly from one POI to the next. So you can swim down in the canals and there might be a bunch of loops down there if you want to find them. Specifically for Rondale, we wanted yeah. to create a vehicle that's super optimized in those conditions. With that new vehicle, you can be like with your old squad and you can go like almost everywhere in the map. So, and the vehicle is as agile on road. As it is in the water. Yeah. yeah. And, but all the other players, they will see you and you don't have a lot of cover inside of it, so you can mm -hmm. get shot. It's always a trade-off of, oh, you want the speed, the agility, but you will not have like all the cover you, yeah. you might need. Resurgence inside Vondel is like 72 player, so you will have enough density of players. We're making sure that for the loot and everything, it's, it's balanced well, so you get a sense of getting a gun quickly, and after that, you just chase your enemy again and again. With Lockdown, our goal was to make a brand new game mode based on Artpoint, but more dynamic and... Intense! Intense! intense. <laughs> Let's say you just want action. You just want to go and fight someone else and play with your squad. I think it's the perfect mode to just go into the area, protect it, mm -hmm. and try to do your best. Control yeah. Yeah. I think what I'm most excited about is just to see people's reaction, just like exploring the map, mm -hmm. finding out all of the different places we've built for them, and just going through all of those different like visual signatures that we've created. So I really, really, I'm hyped for just seeing them enjoy Vandel for the way we built it for them. Bienvenue à Vandel. Can't wait to see you all on Vandel. It's going to be intense. On vous attend en grand nombre. On vous attend. On vous attend sur Vandel pour la saison 4.